Good morning guys, it's day five. We're off to Hollywood Studios. Liv's just posting some letters in the mailbox here at Grand Floridian, which I think I'll show you before. It's literally just a little mailbox there, trans machine. This is the lobby part. Obviously, they're doing construction, as you can probably see up the top. Um, we're just gonna fill up the water. I'm just gonna show you. You know, you have like the water fountain machines, but they also have bottle machines now. I'm gonna show this to you. machines it's filtered water it's not freezing cold but just get some ice yeah you, you, you put it right to the back and touch it that's what it's a sensor and this is the bottle that dad got from target which is for 18 dollars wasn't it 22 and even in that like 107 fahrenheit even though the bottle was boiling hot the drink was ice cold still so these are the machines here i think i've said this several times on previous trips tip if you're parking at holly studios and you're over here in the mickey section Part across the handicap parking because security is this way. I just go all the way around. Just a tip. It's been so hot one at Hollywood Studios today. So we're just walking towards Star Tours. I've just put a dash pass for it. We've had to buy a new fan, this Mickey shaped one. I think it was sixteen dollars with discount. Yeah. It's not the most powerful fan in the world, but Liv broke hers yesterday. <laughs> so we were going to get one. It's at Target, but we ran out of time. Um, so this will have to just do for now. At least she's got something. We've got a little mini mouse pasty on today. Um, but yeah, we're going to go do Star Tours, and Liv wants to try and be Rebel Star yet again. As you haven't guessed by now, that is her goal in life: is to be the Rebel Star. Um, and we'll see what else we get done. I'm not really sure what the actual plan is today, as I said, we're just going to chill out. And uh, it's still super hot, it's 10 past 10. And uh, yeah, Dad's got his new top on that he got the other day, which I'll get him to show you later properly. And yeah, come along with us and start to us. So this water is still freezing cold for when we filled it up an hour ago at Grand Floridian. So here's the bottle we showed you earlier that Dad bought from Target. Got lock yeah, it's got a special lock on it. Pop up. Nice and refreshing that. Very cold. Um, so the like that. yeah, definitely. So this is still freezing cold from an hour, hour, hour ago, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot. The metal is hot, but the the water is really cold. So. Yeah. So I would definitely use them bottle filter machines that I showed you. It's saving us a fortune at the moment. Oh, it's touched my nose. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, it's a game changer. We've saved so much money on water at the moment. Oh, 
Livia, what happened? I think I need to get you a top that says I still haven't been the Rebel Spy. Emily, just so I know you get upset when you don't get September and Guardians, it's the same thing. <laughs> oh, that's good. Can you see that up there? The Legacy box lightsaber set is 30% off. That's quite good. Oh, maybe we're going to have a battle. Come on. Go both the ones that don't work. Quick, get another one, quick! Quick! Oh, look at these two. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there? A churro with some sauce, which was $6.29 for tax. It's right? my favourite. It's literally at the car over here. If you see there with the little red umbrella is, it's just by the Muppets and on the way through to Galaxy's Edge. Uh, Olivia wasn't the Rebel Spy for the second time, so this is a consolation prize is up in the churro. So you're going to show everyone? Is it yummy? It's basically sugar on a stick, isn't it? It's her favourite snack. Taste test. It's good, I right? am <laughs> There's Goofy over there. You can go to a little meet and greet in the corner. Yes. Little Hawaiian number. It's now time for our dance for Twistery Mania or Midway Mania. I don't even know what people call it. I think it is actually officially Twistery Mania. It's a 75 minute wait. Oh, it's nice and cool in here though. Ooh. It's quite a fun um, walk through though because like everything's big obviously as if like you're a toy. I don't think I've ever come this way to get on. I've always been up the stairs into a storm right now. I think we're going around the back because it's very so busy. Hey, hey, hey. Who's going to win? Uh, no, I'm going to win because I'm surprisingly good at this. Dad, on the other hand, you're shocking. He's awful. I'm going to win. It's like getting an arm work out though, isn't it? Did you do well? Yeah. I think she did really well. I don't know what the score is yet. We've just broken down on this bed, so we're waiting. Can you see that from my glasses? I don't know. So I don't want to my glasses. There you go. You can see. just inside One Man's Dream which is by the marketplace just before you come into tourist Tory land on the right hand side nice bit of AC and it's basically like a little mini museum of loads of like vaults, art hats and things like that that is early life and there's a little film at the end as well there's all like the models of Disneyland and stuff stuff about the castle this is based on the Jungle Cruise model. This bit is fascinating. And then this bit is all about the Disney Wish, which we're going to be on next Friday, this time next week. So if you can come see like this curved section here, that's where we're going to be. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Going back and again, but it's a beautiful shit. These are just some of the pictures and images of what it looks like. It's amazing though. They've got a marble restaurant, they've got a, a frozen restaurant, and they've got a warp dining one as well. And that's like an example of what some of the fake rooms look like. So when we did Toy Story earlier, what was your score, Liv? Liv got like 60,000 something. What did you get? I got 107,900 with 33% accuracy. And he thought he was really good. Liv actually got 40% accuracy, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm sure that's what it was or something like that. I got about 25, but my score was 155. Not my best. It was alright. 
Okay, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, so I'm really good, I'm really good. You did well. What have we just done? We've just done a one man's dream, haven't we? Um, you can't film the show, but the show at the end is fab. It's about 15 minutes long. Right, so we have um, provisionally booked a Daz Pass for Tower of Terror. Now, we've not done that since 2014. Nine years. Liv's never done it. I don't know whether she's going to chicken out or not. But she does like drops. So we'll see how we get on. We need to go and find the stroller. And then, um, you know, spend Tower of Terror for the first time. It is blooming hot, guys. I'm sweltering in Hollywood Studios. As I said, we have to go to Tower Terra. I don't know how Liv's going to feel. She does like the drop on Rise, which I know is only a mini drop, but we'll see how she gets on. There she is at the end. I think Liv will be alright. What do you guys think? Let me know. What ride have you just been on, Olivia? Tower Terra. Did you like it? Yeah. She absolutely loved it. She was smiling the whole way through. What do you say when you finish? She wants to go on it again. Can I do it again? Not today, but maybe another day, yeah? Should we go get a bite to eat? No, I want It's super hot still, it's currently quarter to two. We've got dinner at seven, so I think we might just get that maybe. Should we just get a couple of kids' meals? I just want a cake. I'm not eating a cake in this way. <laughs> I want some actual food. <laughs> um, I can't believe that's the first time we've done Tara Terra in about eight or nine years. It's been a long, long time. And it was nice for all three of us to do it together. Um, yeah, my dad was like, oh, he's like, I think she's earned five dollars from that. I said more like 25. <laughs> but she was super, super brave to do that. Um, but let's go get some lunch. So we're going to go and get a bite to eat at ABC Commissary. Sorry. One of our preferred yep. quick commiserations. Quick <laughs> commiserations. Yeah. It's one of our favourite quick services here it's at Hollywood Studios. Speak inside. Speak inside. Speak inside. Speak inside. Nice tables. They clear the tables for you. Loads of AC. Refillable drinks. Not much more we can ask for really. And they do my yeah. ordering. Right. It's yeah. just between um, like Mickey Minis and Sci-Fi Dine. It's down like the little side bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I still can't believe Liv's just done Tower of Terror. We haven't done it in nine years. We have been 2014. It's definitely that, that dropped quite a lot today. I that don't six think drops? It's the longest drop. I've no. Had, but they vibrate the seas. Yeah. There was there was like one Shakes big long drop near the end, and I was like, oh my god, is it okay? Yeah, it was great. Um, and they go right up the top, open the doors. And yeah. See the park. Which but Liv was amazing. She was smiling the whole way through, yes. wasn't she? <laughs> Just ordered a chicken club sandwich, grilled ham and cheese for Liv, and a chocolate tart for Dad with some fountain drinks. Okay, $36 only one. We got this. This got a grilled cheese toastie. Um, Liv a water, a little cookie. My dad's gone for a little chocolate tart. You can see that coffee there. Little for. And then I've got a a grilled chicken club, a club sandwich I think it's called. It comes with like bacon, tomato, that is. It does come with cheese and avocado, but I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, nice cold curry that's refillable. And some steak fries and a man of my neighbours. Are you sure? What is this? Any good? Oh, sorry, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> what is it? Your tropical little tart. <laughs> sorry. I'm a tropical tart. You are. Verdict. Mm. They're really nice. Mm. It was about $5. I don't think it looks like the size of a $5 meal, mm. but mm. yeah. But we'll let you know how the rest of it is. And I think altogether it came to $35, was it? $35? I don't know what it was I'll add it up. Oh my god! She was the Rebel Spy! How long has that taken? Definitely third time lucky. No, you tried about 25 times and it worked finally. So, as I've just told you guys, Liv got chosen to Rebel Spy finally on Star Tours. But Iriani, one of the cast members, just gave us this lovely little celebrating badge that says, I'm the Rebel Spy. Ooh, how lucky are you? Now everyone knows you got chosen, hey? 
So all three of us have been the rebel spy now, haven't we? How cool is that? Get all spies! And you have Princess Leia as well, didn't you? Is the oh, telegram bit. That was so nice to get um, Carrie Fisher. Um, oh, it was lovely. Yeah, really but, yeah. This was the shot. Oh, buzzing. So happy. So we're just leaving Hollywood Studios. It is half past three. What a day we've had. It's yeah. super hot. I'm still melting away as per usual. We've done Star Tours three times and the third time Lip was fine with the Rebel Spy as you've probably just seen. She just got a little badge from one of the cast members that we saw this morning. Um, like a little celebrating badge, which was really sweet. And she got some stickers from one of the cast members at the front of the ride. She's conquered Tara Terra for the first time and she's That's so brave. Amazing. She's only six. And, and she wanted to do it again. I, I said to her, like, were you actually scared? She's like, no, nah, not at all, mate. <laughs> she wasn't bothered at all. I just want to do a quick little shout out though to my friend Emily, yeah. otherwise known as Find Me in Fantasyland. Please go and give her a follow. She's a really lovely girl. I've been chatting to her on, yeah, on her YouTube, same name on YouTube and her Instagram account. Uh, Emily runs it with her sister-in-law Kirsty. Really lovely ladies, die-hard Disney fans. They're also DVC learning pass holders as well. Um, they've got great content and great Instagram, so please go and check them out. But for now, let's head on down to Walmart. Yeah. We have a request to get some neck fans that we definitely should have bought oh. from on Amazon before we came, yeah. but we just ran out of time. Have a look where Walmart was. <laughs> Wham wham. Have a mooch, in fact. <laughs> have a mooch. Let's have a mooch. We're going to have a mooch. Right, guys, I don't mean this offensively. Is mooch a northern thing? Because we don't I really say it down a, south, mate. It's just me. I'd never heard it before until I've heard a couple of means a, a people rummage. say it. Not a rummage. What does it mean? It means a mooch. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, so we're back in the room. I'm still a hot sweaty mess as per usual. Um, we went to Walmart, the one on the 192, um, the big like superstore one, um, got some waters and Livia got some more Prime. Um, Liv, Liv always wants the bubble machines that are here. As you know, they're about $32, I think they are, like the aerial ones and whatever. We've just picked up a Minnie Mouse one in Walmart for half the price. It has sounds and music as well and does pretty much everything it's meant to do. So fingers crossed that's all good for her. Um, as we got back to Grand Floridian just now, as we were walking past the Grand Floridian Cafe, we spotted Tim Tracker. <laughs> We've never seen Tim Tracker or any like, of the like big YouTube vloggers obviously Disney out here like the Disney right. ones so it was a very off chance so we sort of like ran after him <laughs> try, try to be a bit discreet about it yeah. and um, we, oh, we realised he was with Jen didn't we in the he kids, was at so. the um, front desk of the, uh, the Grand Floridian uh, Cafe, Grand Cafe and I just, he, he turned to look at me as I was approaching and I said oh hi Tim I said, we, I said Tim Trigger he said yes I said we've been following you for years, and he, he just we just fist bumped naturally like friends. You know? <laughs> it was so <laughs> funny. I was standing behind like with my phone, like trying to just get it on camera because yeah, I'm going to say that in a sec. So I thought if I don't quickly get it on video, it, it's as if it, my dad dreamt it, and my dad's I was like quickly say hello, but don't do it for ages. I said because obviously they're going for dinner. I feel really awkward. Like it's family time. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm sure he's probably sick of people coming up to me every single day. Do you know what I mean? So I said just quickly say hello, and he sort of like wave, and I was like, okay, let's go now. But anyway, we're back in the room. We're gonna have showers and get freshened up, and then we've got dinner reservation tonight at Planet Hollywood in Disney Springs. We've eaten there quite a few times previously. Always had a fab meal there. Haven't been probably since before COVID. I think was the last time we went there, isn't it? Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. If you haven't been to Planet Hollywood, um, it's always been one of our favourites, just haven't been there for a while, so looking forward to going there. So we're going to get ready and freshened up and we'll catch up with you when we're in the car. Just got to Planet Hollywood, we're just currently walking up to the third floor. So, it needs run off. Bear with. So, we've just got to Planet Hollywood. This is our table on the third floor. You can see the screen. I'm gonna have a little look at the menu. I think Libby's got like a little colouring thing, hasn't she? What's she got? Yeah, all the rest of Kids menu at Planet Hollywood, they've got like a little maze they can do. 
kids like our souvenir cup for ten dollars extra, which is really nice. And this is their menu choices: cheese pizza, chicken fingers, mac and cheese, spaghetti meatballs. I might get that for live actually. So that'll keep her entertained for a little bit of thing. This is some of the menu at Planet Hollywood on the adults menu. These are some of the appetizers that they've got. Sorry, the lighting's not great in here. chicken and broccoli before it was really good so we're going to have that again tonight which is this one here got some sides down here and then they've also got some steaks and stuff got that prime rib salmon fried roasted chicken up your ribs we've got steak which look amazing and they've got some signature sandwiches and some burgers and stuff on the big screen at the back. We didn't we, we did vlog in there but it was very loud so um obviously it is quite a loud thing with all the music and stuff on. It was very nice. I had a, tur a turkey like sandwich in a brioche bun with fries and a nice dressing with it. It was very a bit hot but it was, it was, it was nice. good though, yeah. Uh, you had the penne pasta. Yeah, I had a penne pasta penne pasta with chicken and broccoli and it does come with like garlic pesto but I asked for it plain. I put mayo on it. The, uh, spaghetti and meatballs, spaghetti I tried meatballs. some, it was really good. We had a couple of rounds of soft drinks, soft yeah. fries, toast. The whole bill after I did discount. Yeah, no, it was $58.41. That was with tax, uh, oh, and that included 10% annual pass. Yeah. Not including tip, but with tip, I think $70 in the end. About another $11 for 20%, so it came up to $70 and a few cents. Yeah. Uh, but it's really good. Yeah, it was really reasonable. What a reasonable. Yeah. And I just bought a t-shirt and a shop, yeah. and that was like a branded, um, I don't know how 
buy your t-shirt and it's easy freeze and it was only 16 dollars plus tax. Yes. Yeah, Liv, Liv really, really enjoyed it. Liv was a bit quiet, but Liv liked singing and dancing, didn't you, darling? Did you enjoy the music, Liv? Yeah. Liv has requested to go to the Lego store, so we're currently just going to walk down. We're parked in um, Orange Garage. Oh my god, I'm like trying to film twice here, this is difficult. See, because I'm on vlogging duty, I'm trying to film on the GoPro in one hand and then my phone in the other hand. But yeah, that's Planet Hollywood there. So you've got the Coca-Cola store and Orange Garages in the corner. And then this goes through. You've got some restrooms here on the right. Chicken guys here on the left. And then you go through like this sort of covered area bit. And you go through some of the shops. It's super busy though, but it is a Friday night to be fair. Oh, cool. I keep forgetting how you think it's midweek. Yeah. My dad, every day my dad's like, it's midweek, it's midweek. I'm like, no, it's not, no, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not midweek, it's Friday. But tonight is also um, the first night of Halloween. Mickey. No, it's no, not Halloween. It's, it's, sorry. <laughs> it's not. Blasphemy. It's the first night of uh, Mickey's Not So Scary. So it is busy for Friday down here, but it's not that bad. But it's only early, it's only just gone half eight. So we're going to go to World of Disney. I think we want to go to the Lego store and then I think we're going to head back and have a bit of an early night tonight because we're all a bit cream packed, aren't we? Yeah. And just want to have a bit of a chilled one, really. And to be fair, we, we could probably watch the Mickey's Not So Scary fireworks yeah. from um, well, Grand Floridian. The service, the server was very nice. They never rushed us, or asked us if you wanted to top up for the servers. Which, if, and... if some of you have seen our vlogs yeah. from our May trip, we went to T Rex and had the best experience. I won't touch on that now, I'll touch on that later on at some point. I but definitely go back to London Hollywood. I haven't yeah. been there for what, four years. But that was $30 cheaper. Oh, incredible value yeah. I was really pleased. It's such a nice place with a nice atmosphere. Yeah, of course. It's a party atmosphere. DJ was cracking on with some good yeah. karaoke. Yeah. I mean, I think, like, Liv, Liv is obviously quite tired. Yeah. But if she wasn't, I think she'd be okay. But she enjoyed it either way, though. So there's Tommy Bahama where Dad likes to go. They've got a 25% off, off at the moment. It ends on Monday. I've been so many shirts recently from there. My dad's had the last two trips, like in May and yeah. December, you had like a 50% off for like members or something, didn't you? Yeah, good deal. So that was better. I'm not rushed. No. Here recently. Like they are expensive. If you've been to Tommy Bahamas, they're like, um, they're beautiful shirts. Or 40 yeah, they're normally like a hundred dollars plus top. But, um, but yeah, let's um, go to the world for Disney. Yeah. Liv has requested to make a wish and um, put some money in the fountain. So close your eyes. Make a wish. And you try it in. You thought of something? Oh. Don't tell me what you wish for. Two sounds of you. And then well did you need to stop in? I do love coming here at night time though. If you don't come to this spring, what are you doing with your life? Need another one. Oh, making it delicious. Yeah, making you dream come true. Dad's looking for a Star Wars mug of some type. I think they'll be in the Star Wars section. Yeah. Disney Springs is pretty busy. Dad's having a go at Liv as per usual. <laughs> She's fine. She's okay. If you haven't been to the world of Disney, what are you doing with your life? It's like the biggest Disney store. Look how giant this is. It has so many sections to it. It goes all the way back over there and around the corner. I could spend hours in here. I never get bored. They also have like mobile checkout now if you haven't done that, that's super easy. We've got loads more Hocus Pocus stuff. Oh, this is the Star Wars bit the bad bikes coming around too. I do like these Star Wars now, these are cute. Really nice. Not too bad. Oh, sorry. 
Okay. No, you're okay. Smallest tops. Nib, look. Nib, look. They've got little, like, curvy colourings there. How cool is that? Can you see that? Sorry, I'm trying to hold my phone and they go through at the same time. They're cute. That's cute. We'll see. How much is it? $25, wonderful. What else have you seen? That's a good idea. Do you want one of them? Okay, and we've got some magnets for you, mate. Oh, it's not that it's scary, like, Grandad. Uh, Vampirino or something, isn't it? Oh, my God. Is it Vampirino? No, it's not. Does it look? It's not. It's, no, absolutely not. No. What else have they got? Oh, they've got tea towels. They're cute. I'm loving this big front room. It's amazing. They've got a massive section up here. So much stuff. Let's go and look at all the Halloween merch they've got here at World Disney. They've got some really nice bits. They've got some different apple cider drinks. She's looking at the, not on the floor. Oh, Liv's found this. Right. Dad, you need to move me in the way because I can't yeah. move. Liv's happy. I've got a video of her doing this when she was about two. <laughs> you turned her too much sugar, can't you? Get too much sugar. <laughs> or not enough sugar. No. We've got some really nice bits in here. We've got some hats. Uh, oh, they've got all like, the light up bits over here. Oh, it looks like kid top kids tops, these are cute, plushies, hoodies and stuff, backpacks, loads of like sweatshirts and things, more t-shirts, caps, I'm not massively keen on the design if I'm completely honest, oh no that's cute baby, oh my gosh look at these aerial cushions, I'm loving these little mermaid bits. Oh, that aerial dress is super cute. I've actually bought Liv's one with me. Liv's got a bit of a thing for Tinkerbell at the minute, so I might have to get one of these. They've got some really nice stuff in here though. Got some baby bits of Moana that are cute. Liv's eyeing up the jewellery. Are you even surprised? <laughs> We've got some really nice stuff. Oh, let's keep these bubble things away from Liv. She's obsessed. Oh, now these are quite good. These are normally like 20, 29 each now. But if you buy two, only $20. Plus tax. Oh, I love this fish and that's cute. And they live happily ever after. A mini photo frame like a magnet one. That's a cute backpack. That is large but very cute. Dad's eyeing up the Joffrey's handcrafted smoothies. There's Wetzel's pretzels over there. Outside World of Disney, they've got a Starbucks. This is how big World of Disney goes all the way around there on the back. Lego shops there. And then over here, they've got like a little stage or stuff they have music on. But yeah, we're just, um, lives a bit wiped out, I think. We weren't going to go to the Lego store, but I think we're just going to head back. <sighs> we haven't really done much today, but um, we're just tired. The heat is just wiping it out of us. We're normally okay, but it's just too hot. <sighs> but Disney Springs is lovely. If you haven't been, definitely come down here. As I said, we'll check out the Lego store another day. It's a great view over here though. It's 
see little hidden Mickey's here in the gate as well. How cool are they? There's Rainforest Cafe over there. And that's like the little, if you look in the distance, you can see, hold on, which one hold. Uh, over those buildings at the back, that's Saratoga Springs. It's quite nice when, when we stay there because then you can get the boat over or you can walk over if you're coastal, which is quite nice. I'm sure most of you have already eaten there. We really want to try that. I think we're going to try that later on this week or next week, probably. The food smells amazing. Yeah, it's kind of 20 feet away, <laughs> Oh, I just got a whiff of it. It smells so good. So yeah, definitely want to try there. Evening, we've just got back to Grand Floridian. We had a lovely meal at Planet Hollywood, if you guys might have seen that already. Had a nice little walk through Disney Springs, went down to World of Disney for a little bit. Um, still really, really muggy out at like 10 o'clock at night still, and I'm like, ooh, boiling. So anyway, as I said, we just got back to the room. Olivia's completely crashed out. She's so tired. Um, me and Dad are gonna chill. As we got back just now, um, we saw some of the not so scary fireworks because it's the first Mickey's not so scary tonight um, So that was quite cool to see some of those as we got in just now, but we're gonna sign off for now um, Tomorrow we are heading to Epcot and um, hopefully we're gonna explore a little bit of food and wine festival that we've not really touched on before have we? No, not much. no so we're looking forward to a little bit of that tomorrow. We've only been to Epcot once this week so far Which was on like our first day normally we go there quite a lot um, we've just been a bit wiped out with the heat and everything, so we've just not really bothered much this week. But looking forward to spending the day there tomorrow, um, and we'll take you along with us. But just want to say thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you have enjoyed it, please give us a, a subscribe, give us a comment, give us a like, and give us a follow on Instagram. All the links will be in the box, and we'll catch you in the next one. We're just queuing up to go to the DVC lounge, which is up these stairs. This is uh, located in the exit shop of Figment and you come up Figment comes out over there. It's a hundred and five minute standby. This is my second time on this track. Is it your second time? Are you excited? Our second time. We last went on this back in August last year so it's been a while but I'm looking forward to doing it. Oh, I'm going free. How does he go in Coco? He goes, ow. Ow.